Good evening, everyone. I just pulled up the uh, Clay County, Florida General Purpose Viewer. It's an excellent, excellent software uh, or link in the internet, and I encourage everyone to use it. It's got a lot of features here. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the Hazelwood Hole and its effect on the North Dam. And to speed this up a little bit, I am going to uncheck some of these layers. We won't need points of interest and parcel data. I'll keep the road data so we can get a perspective of the location and where we're, where we're at. I will also come over to base maps and I will select satellite. Right off, you'll see Kingsley Lake kind of hard to miss. You'll see Doctors Inlet. You'll see the St. John's River going into Greenco Springs. Here's Highway 17 South that runs into Greenco. Uh, then west on 16 to Penny Farms. And north as you're going into Middleburg to Lake Asbury. This, sorry, this is where we're going to be talking about uh, let me zoom in mainly. We're going to be looking at the southwest fork, the finger of Lake Asbury, and the Hazelwood Hole. This is Hazelwood Court, and here is the drainage going through to the southwest finger of Lake Asbury. Now, we can't talk about just the Hazelwood Hole without reflections of the North Dam. Keep in mind what we're going to discuss is how much water is being placed on this 50 year old dam that's only 30 feet, 33 feet wide. So let me get back to the subject and uh, take it into the Hazelwood Hole. And with uh, discussing the Hazelwood Hole, uh, one of novelty about it, it's the home of Dr. Vaughn's uh, spa house. And I'll take you into, the, into there. But first, let me run back a little bit and select public works data over here. Now, when you have select the public works data, I would like for you to note the green dots along State Road 218. See the green dots? All of these but these two are 18 inch concrete reinforced pipes. And uh, I won't keep you as we go through each one of these, but I'll select this one. This is 63 linear feet of 18 inch reinforced concrete pipe. There's one, two, three, four, four of these that go across 218. These are 20 inch pipes. These two. I'm not counting these up here. But there's a big ditch that runs across here. If you'll notice there's an easement here. And two easements here. Let's look at these two bigger easements I zoomed in a little too far okay these two easements coming off this roadway that has these concrete reinforced pipes on them are draining into this swamp that retains water all year round goes through a small canal 
into one 18 inch culvert that goes under Branscombe Road into a single 20 foot easement that was deeded to the county in 1969. You have to ask yourself, why is all this irrigation necessary? And that can be answered very simply. Go over to flood zone data. That's the first. There it is. Wow. So this is actually part of a FEMA Class A flood zone. Notice the canal or 50 to 60 foot linear ditch. It drains off Seminole Village and 218 to keep 218 from flooding. I moved here in 98 and I can remember 218 flooding. You couldn't drive past there. You'd have to go south or north to go around it. Seminole Village, the plat was created for Seminole Village in 1980. As you move down and, and look at this, and I'll give a chance to catch up with me, you'll see this goes through that 20 foot easement in to this area right here. This 20 foot easement, as we all know, cannot handle this much water coming from this roadway and these flood zones. This 20 foot easement over time has blown out to 70 to 75 feet wide and about 40 to 45 feet deep down to the lime rock. These people that are living in this area, their backyard is slowly washing out. And this can't go any deeper because it's to the lime rock. It will only erode and get wider and creep towards these people's houses. Sooner or later, these houses will fall into this pit. Sooner or later, they'll slide in. And this was caused by diverting this water into this 20-foot easement. Zach Ryan was a member of the Lake Asbury Municipal Service Benefits District in 1989, no, 1998, I'm sorry. And he recommended to divert this water away from Lake Asbury somewhere else. I am speculating that he meant diverting this into Bradley Creek, but as you see, that wasn't in the plan. These homes have been built, except for Russell Oaks. All of this has been put in since 1998. Here's your beltway coming in. What I'd like for you to do is homework. Select parcel data and go down this corridor 
to see who owns this property. This property. This property. And you will be surprised. But that's not what the video is about. Let me take you down into the Hazelwood hole. And maybe it will give you some insight of what these people and this small dam has to deal with. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, let's uh, start the video. got the camera going you can tell me your story while I'm well you know we haven't been here but you know a little more than a year but apparently all this look at that all this is silted down this is supposed to be waterfront now I remind you you can oh. see the you can see the boat um, dock that they have over there uh -huh. that, that the dirt is filled up right up to their their dock and they can't even you know, they can't even use a boat or get a boat out. Yeah, that's useless. Um, I've been going to the meetings up there, and, you know, supposedly we're having problems with the dams, and they're trying to, you know, confront that out first. But they know that this is a problem back here, and, it, and it's, you know, my parents have been here since 87. We've, we, they've lived down there. And when, when we first moved here, it was just a small little small little creek I would say yep. that you could jump over and now it's a canyon in the back. Washing out. Oh, you have to get right yeah. over in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, really yeah, get a good way. shot. That's a good Ooh. elephant here, isn't it? Look that at that. Look at better. that. What you've got. But this is where we had the river during uh, Irma. Now this is your waterfront property? Sure is. <laughs> well, y'all don't pay for no, waterfront. No, when it, do not pay. When it, uh, it no. rains real hard and some of the old village can't have that. Yeah, I'm going to say be careful because that will go through. Yeah, I've already been in. Yeah. I've already found one of those already. Yeah, that's why I didn't want you to go too far there. So I see the neighbors are trying to Keep it from eroding away and building it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as Eric was telling you, there's a, still a tree down farther that you can't see from here that he used to go across. So that's a good, what, 50, 50, 75 feet across? Yeah. 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 The last tree to fall is there's one here, that one there. Yeah. Used to sit right here. And it toppled in? Took about, yeah, I see it now. Took about three more feet of bank with it. Okay, who's been here and who has said they're going to help you? That's what I'm... Nobody. 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 Nobody's come in here like me to take no, pictures? Sir. No. Nope, not a single person. It's like we're at the bottom of the list. We have been for a while. We've been here 32 years. And we've watched it go. And that goes all the way back to the road? Yeah, it gets shallower as it gets toward the road. Well, and, Nancy, and not as wide. 
There used to be a waterfall right there to your right. You know, where it came from up by the neighbor's property. There was a probably a 12, 13 foot this waterfall. This area back here, woods. Uh -huh. Rather than really clean it good and make it into a yard, we decided to leave it. Leave it woods. Well, that's what the wife has done. She's got a. Uh, you can get through here. Yeah, I got it. She's got a new cut zone. Here's another tree that went out when Irma went. It used to sit here. You know what this reminds me of? The ravines. <laughs> <laughs> Devil's Millhopper down in Gainesville, that sinkhole. Oh, yeah. Millhopper? Yeah. Look at the other This is all cut by water and sloughing. Like I say, during Irma now, it was probably was six, had? eight feet deep and almost as wide as this entire thing. It was, I mean, it was a roaring river. A lot of misconceptions that I'm, while I started doing this, a lot of misconceptions that this is coming from Seminole Village. Mm -hmm. uh, Lake Lark is getting Seminole Village, okay? Well, you know, we didn't get hardly any uh, sloughing off and stuff and, until they started, you know, building along 218. I've been told by one of my neighbors up there that lives off of uh, Simmons Trail that they have actually diverted the water for that project up there with the white fences. Mm -hmm that is just past the uh, substation. They, they told me that they rerouted water back down this way. Yeah. Like I said, can, when we get a good rain, you can hear the water flow. It's still kind of trickling right now, but you know, not much. Well, if, if you, you just look right, right straight down there, you can, every now and then you catch you, a little glimpse of the Yeah, trickle. I see it, I see it right. Down here, it's further, you can get right on it. It hasn't rained in a while and you got water down in the bottom of that. It, it's never dry down there now. I think it opened up some springs. If you follow this back, mm -hmm. back in the corner, you'll find that there's a swamp off of 218. Yeah. Yep. That's the head for this. Yep, now we knew that, but they're doing nothing about it. Here's some water. It's flowing. Yeah. It's trickling. And I figured the answers in the county would say, okay, you got waterfront property because you got water running. <laughs> I'll tax you for your <laughs> waterfront property. Yeah, you know, they want money. You can see a good Good run of water here. What do you think? It's, you say there was, you smell sulfur in here? Yeah, this, this gets pretty sulfur smelly. Yeah, it comes out All from through over here. There. Like it's tapped into an artesian finger? Uh, it's possible that when it washed it away, it washed into uh, some artesian type. Uh, it's coming springs, up, mm -hmm. you know, coming up out of the ground. Mm -hmm. So it's never going to get better. Oh, gosh. Amazing, huh? Oh. Now, this has stayed pretty good for the last uh, five years. Yeah, this, this is not too bad. Roughly. I did have, I carved some steps into the dirt. It mm -hmm. wasn't quite that deep then. And had a little shelf out there that I used to go down there and just kind of sit and listen to the water. Yeah. And it, it runs on through and back over here on the neighbor's property is an old uh, on the cement. Cement structure yeah. that some doctor built as a spa. Yes, sir. That's yeah. a German doctor. Yep. Back in the nineteen hundreds. Yes. And nineteen uh, twenties. It collapsed. Yes. The kids used to play around it and in it and it finally collapsed. I would love to see that. And at one time they were saying, well, that was a dam, and the dam broke. That's not a dam. dam. Mike, the dam, dam. Yeah, Mike and uh, Katie are home, Daryl. If you want to go over there, 
but he knows them, I know them too. And explain to him. You say the old spa is back here? Now I've already been told we smell, oh look at that. That is beautiful. Check him out. The steps and everything. There's the steps right there, right there going down in it. That was a German doctor. He built that in the early 1900s. I'd say about, well, about 1919, 1920s. That is amazing. And he would let that fill up. And in that era, people used to go into Green Coast Springs and they used to, sit in the spring at Spring Park to get the sulfur. You are really blessed. <laughs> that is history. Pretty neat. Yeah, um, if you have any info on it that I can have, I'd, I'd appreciate it. I mean, like I said, I used to play in it when I was a kid. Yeah, so Eric did too. All the kids I yeah. think in around Lake Asbury oh, yeah. at one time yeah. played around this thing. Yeah, John Davis fell off and broke his arm way, you know, 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys haven't cleaned that out. He just The it. amount of stuff I got left to do here. <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's a last on your... what, six months into the house? <laughs> last on your priorities. Yeah, yeah, getting getting past the tree line is... Sure is, I don't know where, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. All right. Yes, yeah, sir. Kind of reminds you of old mill hopper type things, huh? Yes. The Devil's Mill Harper Hopper in uh, Gainesville. Have you ever been there? Yeah, a long time ago. 